welcome everybody, Todd Story, Chief Communications Officer for the Clark County School District. What we'll do is we'll kick things off with uh, School Board President Irene Cepeda, followed by Superintendent Jesus Chara, and then we'll hear from uh, representatives from CCEA, from CASAPI, ESEA, and then the uh, police uh, unions, and then we'll go to Q&A after that. Thanks. Hello, everybody. We are, uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty sure folks here are excited as well. Thank you all for being here. Um, I, feel, uh, I feel a lot of gratitude for a lot of the work that has been put in to, to make today a reality. Um, we, we are listening. We hear, we hear folks, uh, and I think more than anything, we would really want to acknowledge all the amazing hard work uh, that has been put in this last, this last academic year and beyond, uh, but we recognize how difficult this last year was. Um, and in that recognition, we want to make sure that we're also putting our budgets to the test, budgets to, uh, that reflect all the efforts that our teachers, our support professionals, our admin have done to really keep our schools open, to keep our schools safe, to keep our schools spaces for our students to uh, thrive in. So with that, I'm going to be super short because our superintendent has the meat and potatoes of the detail of the, of, uh, of, uh, the plan, the, well, this, uh, goodness, now I forget the words, it, this, Ret our retention bonuses, retention um, activities, goodness. So with that, Superintendent Jara, everybody. Thank you, Trustee Cepeda. Um, before I get started, um, really like to commend Trustee Cepeda and the board. Um, this is uh, not something that is easy to do alone um, as a superintendent and the team, but really a collective effort. Um, when you work together, um, as a team, a lot of uh, great things can happen for our employees. As we all know, I've been very vocal, CCSD has not been fully staffed since 1994 when we opened up the school year. Um, school districts across America are expecting and experiencing teacher shortages, employees, and workforce. Um, this is um, in really in collaboration and part of what we have been doing collectively as a, bo as a board and superintendent for quite some time when we're looking at individual employee shortages. Um, not too long ago, we raised salaries for our bus drivers. We also looked at our site best technicians, uh, moved our administrators, our building principals from 11 months to 12 months because the job is a 12 month job. So the board has really worked together with me and the team to look at what we need to do as a district um, to make sure that our workforce has been compensated. As Trustee Cepeda mentioned, um, our employees, the 42,000 employees, have done a, an amazing job in closing schools, feeding children, taking kids to school, this, providing distance education, for the last two years or so, and we've opened schools. As a matter of fact, had a great opportunity in celebrating our grant, and I'm gonna do so right after this press conference. So we needed to do something um, to raise our teacher salary, and I'll start there, um, to be competitive. It's the first time since 2015 that we have raised, I would say, our starting teacher pay. So we are excited in partnering with CCEA um, that we are moving our starting teacher salary from $43,000 to $50,115. That puts us above a lot of districts in the West Coast because um, we have to be competitive in really providing our teachers um, the compensation that they deserve and for us to be able to compete because our kids deserve the opportunity to have a highly qualified well-compensated educator. So in order for us to attract teachers, to better secure our schools, increase student achievement, uh, reduce class size, and improve our working conditions for them is to uh, be able to do that. Um, we are committed uh, to all our employees. The board has also authorized me to also in, um, provide a retention um, 
recruitment bonus for our support professionals. Um, the, their deal is a little bit different. Um, we are working on their health care as well, and we are providing a $4,500 um, retention bonus. We are doing a $5,000 for our administrators and for all our police officers as well. Everybody in the organization, as I mentioned, the 42,000 employees have done a remarkable job in keeping this community open um, for our children. So the estimated costs, which will come from um, some operating dollars and others from our federal um, stimulus, if you will, the ARP, is a total of $165 million investment that this board has authorized me um, to be able to negotiate with our all bargaining units. Again, thank you for being here um, and thank you for your interest and I couldn't thank my partners here um, that have been really intimately working together with this deal. So now I can turn it over to CCA Kristen um, from Kindergarten teacher, I know that because I just, uh, she was part of the interview process um, with hiring a new principal from Steve Shore Elementary. Thank you so much, Dr. Jara. Um, I, I'm absolutely thrilled to be here. Um, actually, I got out of the summer acceleration a little earlier because I am doing the summer acceleration program because I love my kids and I know that's where I need to be. Um, so just to kind of give you a little bit of background about me, I'm Kristen Nigro. I'm a kindergarten teacher. I've been in this school district. This is the only district that I've ever worked in. Uh, I'm going close to 10 years. So, and I have been uh, loyal to CCSD. Um, so I, I just wanted to say thank you so much to the parties involved and the collaboration that was done in order to get this, uh, this hammered out. I know how intense and I know how stressful it can be, but just to have the ability to really take a step in the right direction and, and get that recruitment and that retention, uh, that's huge. We're talking, we have over 300,000 students here in Clark and Every single one of them is deserving of a solid educator. And I really feel that this package that we have is going to take us there. One of the reasons and or why I feel like that is for the um, retention just in general. I mean, we're talking about a $5,000. Um, using that, that one-time state money to get that $5,000 into the hands of our licensed educators already. And then also really moving that that base pay. I mean, we are so competitive right now on the western side of the United States, talking about moving it to um, 50,115, I believe Dr. Jara said. That's huge, right? That's a really big deal for new educators coming in, especially inflation's really our, our housing market, the whole nine yards, and that really has an effect. Um, so I, I really feel also bringing up that um, the salary up to where we can earn up to $101,000, I mean annually, that's a big deal. And I am a dedicated, very, very tenacious person and I will get there. And I guarantee that will happen because that's who I am. Um, but again, I just wanted to say thank you to the collaboration that was done between the Clark County School District and the Clark County Education Association. Um, I know how, how tough it is, but the importance again to bring in these licensed educators to Clark. Every single one of these kids that are in our building, no matter where their level are, what walk of life they come for, or from, they deserve to have the best. And we can bring the best, and I really do feel with what we have right now that that's gonna happen. So with that being said, again, thank you. Um, and I'm gonna turn it over to ESEA. <laughs> thank you. Hi everyone, uh, that's a tough act to follow, sorry. Uh, my name is Jan Giles, I am the president of the Education Support Employees Association and together with... Jason Gately with the Team Teamsters Union. Uh, we represent uh, 12,000 support professionals in CCSD and we'd like to thank uh, Superintendent Jara, CFO Jason Gowdy and the trustees for providing this attention, uh, additional retention bonus and the additional contribution to the support professionals health insurance. This enables the employees to not come out of pocket for their health insurance renewal this September. Uh, we greatly appreciate the acknowledgement of all the hard work from our su support professionals 
and uh, we understand the difficulties in recruiting and retaining employees, and this is a great incentive. Um, thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Isaac Stein, proud principal of Desert Pines High School. So thanks for being here today, and thanks for having uh, this event here. It's, it's an important and epic moment for Clark County School District. I'm also the treasurer for the Executive Council in Kasapi, so I'm here to represent Kasapi. And we can't thank the board and the superintendent and his team enough for this collaboration and working with us on this collaboration. Being a resident of Clark County for 23 years, and coming here to teach, I know this is an opportunity for us to recruit the best teachers, support personnel, and administrators. And this may be that, that, that effort to get us over the, the hump and working to make sure that we have all the best teachers at our school. So we can't thank everybody enough. And we know this incentive means something. This retention bonus means something to all of us. As we know, so many of us are doing the heavy lifting, especially our teachers and support personnel that do the heavy lifting every day to make sure that we support our students. And uh, we're looking forward to, this is one way of letting everyone know how appreciative we are of their hard work and their efforts, and look forward to the work we're gonna do over the next couple of years. Thank you. So, um, in closing, um, and we, we can answer any questions um, that you may have, we'll be releasing the details this afternoon. Uh, the board will be voting on it on the 9th. I just, the reason we're here, we're at Desert Pines, is one of our schools that has the highest uh, number of vacancies. Um, and I say that, um, and it has no um, really, I would say, indication of the school. This is a phenomenal school. It's a great school. Uh, but it's a number um, that we're here to, to really identify. Every child in this school district deserves um, a highly compensated um, and quality teacher. Um, but we we had to take a huge step forward um, in, in working together. This is, I would say, in the middle of our work in compensating our employees. Um, I, I talked about it when I started my, 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 my conference, but I, I, I just go back to um, when I got here um, four years ago in the relationship that we have with all our bargaining units. And I say that publicly across the board when I speak to my colleagues. We opened our schools with all my bargaining partners uh, beside, our, beside together um, behind me to say we have to do what's best for kids. I have a great relationship with them, but that's because I have a board and working together that has made this a priority um, for our employees. So thank you um, to all of them and I'm looking forward to opening up um, August 9th, closing out summer acceleration and starting August 9th um, with a great school opening. So I'll stay here answer any questions that you may have before I'm going to just be be mindful because I got to get to another graduation trustee Spader and I have to get to a graduation Tiffany So um, what we let me let me clarify a couple things. So the the teacher salary is the one that's going up um, to fifty thousand um, per year. Everybody else is getting the, um, the bonus on the retention bonus. The teachers um, that are not part of the increase in in, in salary is um, they're going to get the five thousand dollars retention as well. So we also made a movement at the end. That's why you hear that we also made a movement at the end. Um, on their last column because it was also important to retain our teachers and I think it's our, our board, my board and, and, and my team, we felt that it was important. Again, this is not only recruitment but also a retention, making sure that our, our educators stay with us. No, the, t the teachers that do not move, get a, they do not move a, up, up in their salary schedule, get the $5,000. Rocio. I'm sorry, Lorraine, I'm sorry. Um, just to clarify for the minute, sir, um, does this bump in the salary floor apply to current teachers or just for the year? Like Correct. I felt it was competitive, it needed to be, when we looked at the analysis, 
the ones that are a little bit over uh, over fifty thousand obviously are are in California, um, and and I think when you look at the cost of living, it, it puts us at a better um, salary structure than than my colleagues across this across the mountains. Uh, when will they see the five thousand dollar the the on the five thousand? It was agreed upon in September. We'll put it out in two payments. It's a it's a retention, so they'll get it in in September. I don't know the exact date, and then in May. No, it's related to the number of vacancies we have. Um, you know, when we're looking at, at the number of vacancies that we have, um, this is why this was important to get it done now. For this, yes, it is. There's, we're, we're working, and, and Mr. Valadita is here, yes, and we're also working. This is a first immediate crisis, and I'd say a, a teacher shortage that we're dealing with, but then obviously going back to the table and address all the salary schedules as a board, that's, that's kind of where we're headed up in the future. And how did the district decide on how much it was going to raise each year? It was, in, this is part of the collab collaborative um, salary for me. Um, as superintendent, it was important to get over the $50,000. What about the ones that are retiring uh, this summer? Uh, they're not eligible because they're retired in uh, September, correct? Correct. If they're retiring, they've already retired, yeah. They should have also received the... Thank you, Trustee Cepeda. They received the last bonus, which was $1,000 last May 25th. Correct. We did. We already raised the, um, in, in partnership with ESEA and the Teamsters. We already increased their um, salary already. We did that. I would say about a month ago, and, and I'm going to tell you, um, it's going well. I'm hoping that I'm hoping that we fill um, that we fill all our classroom vacancies. When you looked at not only across, you know, across the Western, I know that um, locally we have some choice opportunities. Um, that I know this hopefully this recruits some of our our teachers that are in Nevada and Clark County, up in our charter schools that may look at this and and, and look at this investment that this board is making. Um, that this is the place to come to work. Trust is paid of you. Yeah, well, it's fine. There's, plenty, there's still plenty of things that, that, that need to be addressed. However, um, I, I, to Superintendent's point, it's a step in the right direction. So we know that there are, teacher recruitment retention is a complicated, it is a complicated piece. Uh, there's so many pieces to it. Uh, it's multifaceted. So it's this one thing will help, but it's not the only thing we're planning on doing. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you for the question. And I think this is, you know, sharing the news, what we're doing today. We're, again, doing some other great things, um, you know, showcasing and working with our, our building principals. Um, the re, you know, looking at uh, my new chief of HR starts tomorrow. Uh, we have a new chief of HR that is an experienced executive that's going to come in um, and, and look at um, some of the work that we have to do around supporting our educators. You know, we have also invested in instructional materials uh, for our educators and professional development. What we are partnering is looking at what are the learning and teaching conditions that we have to address 
and this is part of the collaboration efforts that we're doing, uh, working together with, with our, our union. Yeah, and if, if I could add, because to the recruitment piece, now we, we have to think about the long per like the, the long term pipeline, right? So we have our CTE teaching and training program that does amazing, phenomenal work uh, in training future teachers. And that is, again, district in collaboration with our Nevada system of higher education. So all those pieces, again, it is going to take a whole lot. It is not, this is the one thing we're doing. It is a whole lot of ands. We're and this, and this, and this, and this. So uh, those are also something that, you know, the district is collaborating with. One more question in the back. Sí, eh, muchas gracias. Eh, estamos, bueno, aquí, gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. Lo que estamos, el sueldo de los, de los maestros, de, estamos subiendo de 43 mil, and I'll have to ask you to help me here with a little Spanish as well, a 43 mil a 50 mil, 115 para el, el primer año de en las clases, a todos los administradores y a todos los, eh, los profesionales que trabajan en los buses, en, en las escuelas, en las oficinas, eh, le estamos dando un retention eh, bonus de, de, cinco, de cinco mil dólares que se va a departir en dos, en dos semanas. Es muy importante para nosotros, para la Junta Escolar uh, y para mi, mi equipo, para um, poner dinero en las manos de los, de los 42 mil eh, empleados de nosotros, de la escuela, que fueron los que estuvieron aquí eh, trabajando para los niños y para la comunidad. Eh, para, bueno, muchas gracias, para, para reclutar empleados, para que vengan y para que sepan que estamos, es un sistema escolar que cree y que le da muchas gracias a los empleados. Did I do okay? Okay, thank you. I, I got to get to a graduation at, um, at the Orleans. So I appreciate all of you being here.